Hello students, this video is for class 8 computer studies and in this video I am going to explain about number system, just the introduction part. In this video I am going to explain about the number system. What is a number system? It is a set of values used to represent different quantities. In our daily life we use number system to represent different numbers. For example, sometimes we represent number of students in a class, number of computers in a school, number of people who are infected with virus etc. But the way we represent the numbers may vary. Sometimes some people represent numbers using Roman numerals. Some people may use decimal system. Some people may use tally marks. In the picture, there are 5 apples. This number 5 can be represented in different ways. Here I have specified the different ways of representing the same number 5. Computer number system. We are familiar with different type of data like numbers, characters and symbols. But these type of data are not suitable for computers. So this data will be converted into electric pulses and each pulse is identified as code. Then the code is converted into numeric form using ASCII. ASCII means American Standard Code for Information Interchange where each number, character and symbol have numerical equivalent. For example, character A has ASCII value 65 if it is uppercase letter. If it is lowercase letter, character A will have 97 as ASCII value. If it is lowercase b, it will be 98 and so on. So when we type some letter or a symbol or anything from the keyboard, the computer translates them into numbers as the computer can understand only numbers. Since the computer is an electronic device, it represents all the data including audio, graphics, video, text and numbers into binary form. In this binary form, 0 and 1 are the two digits which can be used for representing any number. The combination of 0 and 1 can be used. The Maximum digits which can be used for binary system are 0 and 1. Types of number system. There are four main types of number system. Decimal, binary, octal and hexadecimal. All these number systems can be differentiated with the help of their base value. Each base value represents the maximum number of digits which can be used in that number system. For example, decimal number system. The base value of decimal number system is 10. That says the maximum number of digits which can be used in this system is 10. That is starting from 0 to 9. So any number formed in this number system will have the digits as 0 to 9. Each digit in the number system will be satisfying the condition that is 0 to 9. Binary number system. The base is 2. So that means the digits which are used in this system are 0 and 1. The combination of 0 and 1 can be used to make any number in this number system. Octal number system. The base is 8. So the digits which can be used in this number system will be 0 to 7. The number formed in this number system will be the combination of the digits from 0 to 7. Nothing more than 7 will be accepted as a digit in this number system. Hexadecimal number system. The base of this particular number system is 16. The digits can be 0 to 9 and anything more than 9 can be represented with the help of some alphabets starting from capital A to F. Where the capital A has the value as 10, B has the value as 11, 
then c is 12 and so on in this table i have displayed all the number systems which i have taught just now and along with its base value and the list of uh, digits which can be used along with its example the first number system is decimal number system its base value is 10 so the digits which can be used in this number system are from 0 to 9 look at the example 582 that is 582 5 is less than 10 8 is less than 10 and 2 is also less than less than 10 so this example belongs to decimal number because each digit in the number system satisfies the condition that is each digit is below 10 and there is a subscript that is 10 so because 10 is the base value so when you write the example for any number system please don't forget to mention the base value but it should be little bit subscripted the second example is 3797 each digit in this numbers number that is example satisfies the condition that is each digit is below 10 and there is a base value 10 so this example belongs to a decimal value decimal number system next number system is binary number system base value is 2 the condition is each digit in this number system should be below 2. For example, 1001. This is a binary number system because binary number because each digit is below 2. But you can't read this number as 1001, but it should be read as 1001. And the base of this number system is 2. Don't forget to mention the base value. Otherwise, it will be treated as decimal number system. Next number system is octal number system. The base value is 8. Each digit in this number system should be below 8. That is from 0 to 7. Look at my first example. 5 and 3 base 8 so each digit is below 8 so this belongs to an octal number system suppose if I write here as 5 and 9 that doesn't belong to octal number system because 9 is not below 8 even 58 is not 5 and 8 if I give that is also not an octal number because 8 is not below 8 the condition is the digit can be from 0 to 7. 8 is not included. And the base value is 8. If you don't write the base value, it will be treated as decimal number system. Next example, 377 base 8. Each digit here is below 8. So this is also an octal number. The last number system is hexadecimal number system. Base value is 16. The digits used are 0 to 9 and alphabet A to F. There are 16 digits we are using. But any digit which is more than 9 gets 2 digits. So to avoid the problem, the 2 digit values are given certain symbols that is from A to F where A represents value 10, B represents value 11 and so on. The value of F is 15. Example 983 base 16. Each digit satisfies the condition. Next example 583F. So according to hexadecimal number system this is a valid example because 5 belongs to the digits that is 0 to 9 8 and 3 also belongs to this digits 0 to 9 and the last uh, last digit is f that is also a part of hexadecimal digit group and the base value is represented as 16 
the last example is C 9 B C belongs to the group of digits in hexadecimal 9 is also a part of this hexadecimal digit and B is also a part of hexadecimal digit base 16 suppose if I write an example as G 6 G 6 is it a is it a hexadecimal number system no the reason is g doesn't belong to the list of digits which are used by the hexadecimal system 